fellow Horror Night fans and Universal fans alike, welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World, where today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated list for 2016. These are all the mazes I'm most anticipated uh, in order. So, we're going to be starting from least to most anticipated. Now, I do want to point out that this is an objective list. This is all the ones I'm most excited for. Now, there's not one maze I'm not hyped for, because this year's lineup is amazing. This is possibly one of the best uh, years since... Early on, I'd say, in 2007, uh, 2011, uh, around there, 2012 as well. Um, so I just wanted to point out, this is my own objective list, so uh, if you guys have a different uh, maze that you're most excited for, or least excited for, uh, let me know in the comments below, because I'd love to see what different mazes people are most anticipated for. Now, for you Orlando fans, you can put the list down of what you're most excited for, because I am hyped to see some of the, the mazes for Orlando. Now, I'm um, hoping some of the footage will be taken for things like Tomb of the Ancients uh, as well as the um, uh, Ghost Town maze. So, without further ado, let's jump right into number six. So, coming in at number six, we've got The Exorcist. Now, before anyone freaks out, I'm very excited for The Exorcist. Very excited for The Exorcist. Um, the reason this one's at number six is. I'm a little bit on edge to see how this turns out as a maze. Um, it's more caution, cautious, if anything. Um, I'm hyped that John is following the movie to the T um, with a few creative liberties, but not many. He is staying very close to the film, whereas Mike Ilo in Orlando is kind of taking quite a few creative liberties with the film. So we got two differentiating mazes now. Um, again, the, the reason why that I put this on number six is because as much as I'm excited for it, I'm a little bit cautious on the side because this is a very hard maze to adapt into a live uh, environment. But full faith that John Murdy and Chris Williams can pull it off. Those guys can do wonders. So again, like I said before, this list is objective it's, and I am very excited for The Exorcist. Um, so let's move on to number five. Coming in at number five is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, I love those mazes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the scariest maze experiences I've had at Horror Nights. It's one of the few mazes that can, that every time, at least gets one jump scare out of me multiple times, or multiple times through the night. Um, I've always had a fun experience with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this one's based on the original. Now, Saw in the Law back in, I believe it was 2012, um, was uh, I I really enjoyed it. It did have its faults though. Uh, a few black walls <laughs> which has become a running joke in Hollywood. Um but still a lot of fun. There's some even with some of the negative things with Swords the Law there was a lot of positives as well I felt. So I'm very excited to see what John and Chris bring to this new their vision of a sequel to the original Toby Hooper classic. So very excited for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Blood Brothers. So let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four is Freddy vs. Jason. I am so excited that Hollywood is getting to experience this maze because I've heard nothing good, but good things about the Orlando one and some of the footage that Inside the Magic has shot for that maze, uh, it made it look amazing. Uh, I love the fact that we're going to get the multiple endings. John has confirmed that we are getting multiple endings to this maze. Not just it's different every night. It's going to be changing up every cast change. Uh, so very excited uh, about this maze. I'm a huge Jason fan. I love Jason. Can't wait to see him beat up Freddy. Um, sorry, a little bit of bias there. But now Jason, I'm very excited to see. Freddy, I'm very excited to see. Some of the best years of Horror Nights have been with these legendary uh, horror icons. I mean, alongside Leatherface. So I'm very excited to see Freddy and Jason return to the events that they've been one of the best mazes I've ever experienced at the event. So I can't wait to see these two titans of terror come together in one maze. So let's new move on to number three. Coming in at number three is American Horror Story. Now, I love American Horror Story. It's one of my favorite TV shows out there, and I can't wait to see new season six. Um, this one's at number three because it's it's new, and we've seen a little bit of the maze from Inside the Magic's uh, media preview of it, 
it's looking to be amazing. Some of the sets designs that Chris has brought up look fantastic, and I can't wait to see these characters kind of brought together. Uh, apparently, Murder House is going to be the longest form of the maze, uh, with Free Show being the shortest, and Hotel kind of being that medium between the two. But um, I can't wait to see the scene transitions because we're going to get Murder House first, and then we are naturally going to be going through a different facade, which is for Freak Show, and then a different facade for Hotel. And I love that idea. It's multiple mazes all kind of combined into one. Even Walking Dead didn't really do that. It, it mainly just, you walk from one scene to another, and if you weren't following the show, you didn't know really where the transitions were. But American Horror Story is changing all that. So I'm very excited for American Horror Story. Moving on to number two. Coming in at number two is, I, I'm sure you guys have guessed this, if you've seen me enough on this channel, you know that I love Michael Myers. Halloween 2, Hell Comes to Haddonfield. I'm so excited for this maze, and the reason I'm very excited is, is adapting one of my favorite movie sequels, and that is Halloween 2. And the fact that they're actually bringing in the whole hospital uh, to Haddonfield, um, Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, I'm very excited to see that immortalized in a maze format. Um, I, I feel Halloween 2 has some of the best scares uh, in that film. It's one of the creepiest, dread-filled horror movie sequels of all time, I personally think. So I can't wait to see the, fun, the isolation of and creepiness of the hospital setting but we're not just getting that we're actually going to be starting from the Doyle house and moving on uh, through the streets of Haddonfield to make our way to Haddonfield Memorial Hospital through the steps of Michael Myers so I'm very excited for this maze and I can't wait to see it so let's move on without further ado let's move on to number one so, my most anticipated maze. This is the one I'm most excited for. Uh, and again, it's hard to pick this list because there's so many good mazes this year. Starting from The Exorcist to Leatherface to Freddy vs. Jason. Oh my gosh, this year is amazing. Um, and it was hard to pick a number one. But I feel this is the one I'm most excited for is Krampus. Krampus is one of my favorite holiday films and I seeing it on the big screen uh, I absolutely loved it. I, I got the opportunity to watch it with my brother-in-law who has never seen it before and he really enjoyed it and it was great seeing that experience again seeing someone else watch this really fun film. Uh, Michael Doherty is one of my favorite horror directors uh, especially he's probably one of the best in the industry at the moment but seeing Krampus immortalized in a maze is very exciting for me because for multiple reasons I mean, the characters are amazing for Krampus the creatures are all practical and that is a very exciting thing but we're also as I thought we're also getting the snowmen as well <laughs> the snowmen uh, will be on guard I mean they had a minor part in the film but now John and Chris are turning them actually into scare actors which I thought might happen and that's too good of an opportunity to kind of uh, to kind of miss. So I'm very excited. Um, Krampus himself, uh, I believe, is going to be a full size puppet. Um, that's usually the way they go with a lot of these kind of characters, especially how big Krampus is. I uh, can't wait to see what they do with the clown, uh, as well as the other characters like Teddy. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Again, as I've said in my Krampus video, that the Gingerbread Man will probably be. Uh, one of those face hugger gags, uh, like they did with the thing and AVP, and have the gingerbread man attacking the face, like it's just a line of them, but they're attacking the scare actor who then scares the uh, guests. But the the main reason I'm, well, kind of the main reason, but one of the big reasons I'm very excited for this maze is snow maze. We we rarely get anything like this at Horror Nights, and the only time we ever did was with The Thing back in 2011. Now, Orlando's had experience with multiple different uh, snow mazes, but this is the first time where we've had another maze that's inspired with snow and that kind of cold feeling. So it's very exciting to see a return to that environmental uh, aspect to a maze. So anyway, that's 
that's my list for the most anticipated um, for 2016 for the Hollywood event. I may do something for Orlando because there are quite a few uh, mazes I'd like to talk about uh, in regards to that. Tomb of the Ancients, I can't wait to see. I love the concept for that. Um, so what are you guys' most anticipated late list? Now, like I said before, you can include Orlando to that if you guys are going to Orlando, which I know a few of you are, and um, leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Until the next time, guys, this is the Crazy Englishman signing off.